This is Dr. Grover, Superintendent of Grand Island Public Schools here at Lincoln Elementary, where I'm going to spend some time today with Nurse Carey on our next episode of The Heartbeat with Dr. Grover. Our nurses have been on the front lines taking care of our students, taking care of everything from running noses and providing chicken noodle soup to making sure that they provide a dose of encouragement during these tremendous times that we are moving through to ensure every student every day a success. I have been here at Lincoln for five years and I've loved it from the beginning. Um, I love my school, I love my kids. Every person in our organization, they support our students in different ways. This year, our nurses, they come up in every conversation <laughs> uh, in ways uh, that you are having to support our students. This year has been unique in every way. Um, it's been a challenge, but um, we're doing it and we're getting through it. I told all the nurses at the beginning of the year before we started, I mean, I said, this is what we do. I mean, we do this every year. It's just a lot different this year. We're focusing more on, you know, infection control and communicable diseases. And, and we did that before, just on a very, very small level. So um, they just stepped up and they did what, what they are trained to do. The difference between this year and last year is I spend some days, all day, checking emails and, and tracking COVID students. Uh, one of us sees kids and the other one tracks and fields phone calls. We come in with a good attitude, we leave with a good attitude. Tell me what's that process like when a student comes in or they need to come see you and it's related to COVID-19. I think our parents are doing a great job making sure that their children are not symptomatic. When kids do come to school and then they start to exhibit symptoms, we try and isolate them right away and then we assess them. Even if it might just be allergy symptoms, we have to make sure that's what it is. COVID is so unique in that it presents in so many different ways. We have to be cautious this year. And if we wanna stay open and if we wanna keep our kids safe, you know, we have to follow these guidelines. It's a lot of communication too of it's gonna be okay, you know, this is what we have to do. And then once we find out, you know, we'll go from there. Our parents, they have, they've been incredible oh, yeah. partners with us um, in managing this pandemic. And what about the students? You could see it in their eyes. I mean, they were so happy to be back at school. And all the staff, so happy to finally be back in school together, you know? Honestly, the mask wearing was not as much of a challenge as what I thought it might be. I mean, these kids are resilient. If they do start to feel sick or not well, I think they're scared. I've had some, some really worried kids when they come and see me with a sore throat, tears, I mean, you know, and you just have to calm them down. It's gonna be okay. It seems like in many ways, the nurses, they have become champions for the social emotional supports. You know, we are here to help provide safety for these kids every day, day in, day out. But I do also feel like I have become a safe place for a lot of kids. You know, coming with a stomach ache doesn't always mean my stomach hurts. It might mean I just need a little bit of love. You know, I just need a little one-on-one -on -one time. I also have a student that visits me every day to get medication and he has just worked his way into my heart of course but he also sees me as somebody that he can count on I was eating in my office and I had some chicken noodle soup and he's like I really like chicken noodle soup can I have a bowl of that I said sure and I warmed him up a bowl and he sat down and he had a bowl of chicken noodles over the years you make connections and you see the kids from kindergartners to maybe who are fifth graders now um, and you always kind of maybe had like a special handshake you did or something and now we're not doing that. So I see those kids and we'll look at each other at the same time and we're going to go and we'll do rock, paper, scissors. It's just fun. We'll just be walking and we'll do it and, and then we just laugh and they go, you know, we keep going about our day. But you just try to still, even though it's not the norm, you still try to find, find the normalcy in the unknown. I have a little first grader who lost her dad recently to COVID. She comes in every day to take meds and I always try to brighten her day somehow. It's been kind of difficult, but she always leaves my office with a smile. It just goes beyond checking temperatures and, you know, passing out meds. It's, it's just so much deeper. If there was one word that could describe, you know, how you feel about being a nurse this year. 
Honestly, I think my word of the year in nursing and just my own personal life is just grateful. Um, you know, we've been through trying times that we're all gonna look back on and say, 2020, how did we do that? I'm grateful to, to have um, this job and have our kids be in school every day. I've always felt that coming back, having school on site this year was the right thing to do for our students. I'm so grateful that that is a decision that our Board of Education and our community that we made together. Every person in our organization, they have a role to play in ensuring our students succeed. Our nurses are highlighted here today because they are key to making sure that our students are safe and that our students keep learning and they're impacting their lives in such special ways. After all, we teach hearts as well as minds.